<laughs> so this is what I think every car, when you're first starting off, like, first car, this is stuff that you should have. So when we went out, we used the air compressor thing. This thing was pretty snazzy. So this is the stuff. Oh, See, the help. good thing is, like, normally, your trunk is going to look like this, a bunch of junk everywhere. Compressor. So this is, like, perfect. The compressor is going to be in the box. Oh, this is the compressor. That's I used to the compressor. That's okay, you'll figure it out. So, with that, go ahead and take it out of the box. Throw the box in the car or something. And, oh, you. I turn on my car too, right? Yeah, when you have it on, or when you plug it in, I would turn the car on while the compressor is being used. So, let's, oh, how do we turn it on? Let's see. Okay, that's what we're going to plug into the uh, tire. Oh, okay. And how long it's going to reach all tires. Oh. Is it? Yep, of course. Oh, yeah, because the other door. We'll take this little thing off so you can see it better. And to know how much tire pressure you should put in each tire, there's two different ways. One, right here on the door jam on most cars, it tells you how much air to put in the tires and what tire size you should have. So the tire that you have on all four of the regular is a 205-55-16, that's the regular rim. And then this is your spare tire, this mm -hmm. is the T135-80-D15, that's the one in the trunk. Mm -hmm. So all four tires, front and rear, should be 32 PSI, and your spare should be 60 PSI. So we have hopefully everything filmed on the tire pressure. Again, we're looking at the 32 PSI. So we should be able to set this to 32 PSI, I believe. Oh, did it? Does that say? This is KG. PSI. Oh, not 62. Definitely not. The 32.5? Let's do. What was it? 32.5? No. It was 32. 32 even. Oh. So then, go ahead and grab that little thing out of there. Oh, hey. It should hold the, uh, the pressure on it. I think that's good. I think it should be good. Yep, you got, and see this one was low, it looked low already. Yeah. So 25 PSI. Okay. And then when you take it off, just go pretty quick so you're minimizing how much air you lose. Oh, it won't come off. <laughs> you gotta pull straight. Okay. But you did totally fine. You wanna check the other ones on the other side? Yeah. Because if this one was low, I'm wondering if they all are low. Yeah, we'll double check them. You're gonna have to go through the passenger side window on that one now. Okay. Or door. The I asked you if you had the penny, because that's more of like a tire gauge. If you have a penny, what does that do? there's Lincoln's head is on it, right? Uh-huh. That's the person that's on the front of it. Uh-huh. So, if on the penny, if you could see his forehead when you stick the penny in the tire, the tire should be replaced. So, oh. if you come over to your tire and you get the penny, stick it inside, if you could see his forehead at all, which you can't, oh. you would need a new tire. That's when it's time to replace your tires. So, a penny is really a tire gauge that almost everybody has with them all the time okay. and they just forget about it. So that's one thing to think about. And don't just check in one spot and say you're good. You want to check in a few spots in and out of the tire. Uh -huh. And then you also asked about the rotating the tires. Why do you they rotate them? That's just so that they wear evenly more so and it makes your tires last longer. Mm -hmm. I believe the manufacturers recommend rotating the tires about every 15,000 miles. I believe, I could be wrong. But a good idea is to, re or is to rotate the tires every other oil change. Mm -hmm. So if you buy tires from a shop, most places will rotate the tires for free when you take them there. Okay. So again, every other oil change, every three oil changes, get the tires rotated, and that'll maximize how long the tires last. How long should they last? It all depends on the tire that you get. So if you get a uh, 
a more expensive tire. Some of them are rated for like 60,000 miles. Some are rated for 40,000 miles. There's a big, it, that was super, super varies. Okay. When you're looking at your tire tires as well, on the door, if you don't have a door sticker, on mm -hmm. each tire you have a maximum tire pressure. This one's 51 PSI right here. So for some reason, if there isn't a sticker on a car that you buy in the future, mm -hmm. you can always look on your tire and just make sure you don't go over that tire pressure so you don't blow a tire out by putting too much air in the tire. Okay. Also with bad tire pressure, if the tire's too low, you get uneven wear. If the tire's inflated too much, you'll also get uneven wear. So when the tire's low, the inside and the outside of the tire wears faster. When there's too much air pressure in the tires, the center of the tire wears faster. Okay. So that's why you want to keep the proper air pressure in the tires too. Okay. And that's one or the main reason why you want to keep that air compressor in there to make sure the tire's pressure stays good. So when we went out, we used the air compressor thing. This thing was pretty snazzy. So you're able to set the pressure you want it to, turn it on, and it automatically inflates to that. And then I also noticed that there's a light. So the top button right here is the actual a button at the light. So when you plug this into your car and you can't see where to fill it up, maybe or put the, uh, where your tire, where is it? What the hell is the thing called? <laughs> the if you can't pressure? find the, uh, no, the straighter valve on the oh. car, maybe you plug this into your cigarette lighter, push your light button and that'll make it so you could see stuff. And I bet also while this is inflating, you could just have light too. If it happens at night when you pull over on the side of the road, if you need a light, use that while you're inflating the tires or using the compressor part. So this thing is actually pretty handy. I like it. And it inflated really quick. We're able to do 60 PSI in the, uh, spare. In the spare wheel, right? And it worked great on that too. So not just on a lower tire inflation or PSI specification. So really good.